Good evening. Welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett has made an open call for the Agriculture Minister to address the price of local produce. Mr. Bartlett argues that the prices on local agricultural products are comparatively higher than the imported goods. The cost of producing the goods and services in Jamaica have got to change radically so that we be competitive. Price competitiveness is critical to being able to absorb the demand that tourism or any other industry of its nature provides. And so we can always talk about what can be done, but we have to create the mechanism to enable it to happen. Mr. Bartlett says tourism players use produce which give them the greatest return. The of tourism are some little people all over the world who you don't know. And their interest is in return on their investment. Their interest is in making sure that they get back the money that they invest. The U.S. dollar sold for $129.39 at the end of trading today. The Canadian dollar sold for $97.55. The pound cost $161.11, while the euro is going for $146.56. Oil prices traded higher today. Oil for delivery in January went up by three cents to settle at $52.84 a barrel. Fontana's initial public offering, IPO, has been oversubscribed. The IPO closed five minutes after opening this morning. Lead broker Scotia Investments advised that all of the shares offered were taken up. The JSE index gained 1,037 points today, while the junior market index was unchanged. Today's winners include Barita Investments, Carreras, Elite Diagnostic, Grace Kennedy, Honeybun, Indies Pharma, JMMB Group, and Knutsford Express Services. Now among the losers were Access Financial Services, Carib Cement, Derrimon Trading, Fosrich, General Accident Insurance, Jamaica Broilers, Kingston Wharves, and Mayberry Jamaican Equities. And that's the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.